Hey everybody, this is Marshall from Georgia Bassmasters. Today I have something special for y'all. I'm giving a fishing review and a test of this Lifetime Tamarack 10 foot angler. I think they run about 300, somewhere in there, 250, 300. And uh, it is a 10 foot sit on top kayak. I have a custom little uh, kayak crate as well. I put on the back, made my own fishing rod holders and everything because it comes with two stock on the kayak but two just kind of isn't enough sometimes you need just extra two back there that way you can have four in your pole holder and you can be using one so you can have five it uh it has another one of these hatches up under it but i don't ever use that and if you guys are wondering like the storage space in these things it's, com it's completely hollow you might want to get you a little bag or something a dry bag and it connects from the front and to the back so it's got a seat you can actually take this off if you want the back pad, but it's adjustable. You can adjust it right here to however far back you want it to be. And it's pretty comfortable. This right here, I don't have it in there right now. Anyways, it actually had a rod holder that goes in here. I'm not completely sure where I put it. They go crossways. That's pretty much how I come up stock. You have your drain plug right here in the front, where if it gets full of water, you can just tilt it over. Uh, this is your handle. It's a pretty good little handle. Um, it's not like the higher quality kayaks where they have like a built-in handle mount, or this one's just like a, a cord. But it, I mean, it works, serves its purpose just fine. It's got a handle on both sides for you to grab it. This side actually has a. Uh, a paddle strap. So let me get these paddles out. These are not the same paddles that this uh, kayak come with. Because I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all the paddles that this thing come with are garbage. I'm not going to want them. So yeah. Basically I would put my paddle right here just on the side. And put your paddle strap over your paddle. Just like that. Just a little quick hack. You know this thing, uh, the scupper the scupper plugs the actual kayak ones they're actually pretty expensive so i just went and got these little uh, foam golf balls stuck them down in my kayak for that got this thing where i can clip anything i need on it i have a few of those actually that's pretty much the gist of uh you know the kayak let me uh take this thing down and show you all the bottom side of it it actually has that big tracking tail fin a lot of the higher, you know, the higher price kayaks, they're actually going to have this all the way down. But that little tail fin right there will help you keep tracking straight. My buddy bought the uh, Sun Dolphin 10 foot and it just spins all around in circles. So that right there is going to help you keep paddling straight. Pretty sure this thing weighs about 58, 60 pounds. It's pretty light. I mean, light. I mean, if it's not light, do you do you even lift, bro? I'm six foot two, and I weigh like 190 pounds. And this thing fits me fairly well. This is me getting down in it. Fits me just fine. I can actually fully extend my legs. I have plenty of room in the kayak to fully extend. But I usually sit just like this. I'll be fishing like this. And I have my, actually this is upside down. I have my paddles right here. It's just perfect. Get done, put them up on the side, grab the paddle mount, flip it on, I'm good. I usually have a net in the front. So I'm gonna do more than just walk y'all around the kayak. I'm gonna take this thing out to the lake. And uh, let me just give you a spoiler alert. I took this kayak out to the lake yesterday and I did some fishing. I wanted to show you guys the kayak paddling in action, how it worked. But I ended up catching a couple couple little pigs. So stay around to the end of the video. You guys are gonna wanna see me catch some good bass out of this uh, kayak. Let's just go ahead and jump to it. Let's get to watching this kayak in action. I 
pulled my scupper plugs as you can see because i thought it was going to be pouring down rain and i wanted me wanted my kayak to be able to self-drain itself that's one thing i love about these kayaks is they can pour down rain and you don't have to worry about a uh like a bilge pump system or anything yeah flip right up under that tree just like that Right here at the boat, guys. Right here at the boat. All right. Not even five minutes, guys. I got a good one. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Fishy, 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 fishy. Oh my god! Oh, right here at the boat, guys. Oh, right here at the boat. Landed it at the boat. Look at that thing. Ah. Oh my goodness, guys. Right here at the boat and the hook fell out yes that's the kind of bass i'm looking for that's a pig yes look at that thing yes that's the kind of fish i'm looking for five Five pounds, four eight. Right here at the boat. There's a channel, a creek channel coming up through there. It actually turns to the left, but that's a real good spot. Right now I'm throwing across that creek channel. So sometimes there's some bass laying down in it. I actually need to go to the right and come back over here from an angle. But I'm gonna throw across that little ledge right here where the creek channel is. And there's a deep hole up in there and a ledge right where I'm at now. He's big, guys. Golly, mom. <sighs> yes. <sighs> Mark about another... Four pounder in the boat, guys. I'll weigh them later. Chunks today, chunks. Chunks. Right there on the side of that ledge, didn't I tell you? Golly bum. I couldn't keep up with them, guys. Another fish off that creek channel. I'm about to paddle up in here real quietly. And when I turn this bend over here, I'm gonna get a cast down it. I'm telling you, might just get a monster. and start flipping Dang, right there what I tell you guys
got one. Oh, is it good? Oh, it ain't bad. It ain't bad. Stay down. Ooh, dang, I just completely missed that with the net. What a fail. Guys, I have been hurting these bass today. Bam, killing them. I wanna give y'all a quick view. Some of these bass I'm catching. Things. all right guys hope you all enjoyed the video if you're wondering do i recommend this kayak of course i'd say it's probably the best kayak for under 300 dollars or right at 300 dollars. your next best bet is probably the bass pro shops ascend and those are 500 dollars. so for a 300 dollars below kayak don't worry about anything except for this this is probably the best kayak you can get it's fairly similar to the pescador and those are 550 from academy so go ahead and just get this video if you're interested in my uh, kayak crate and how I kind of get that set up. I didn't even walk y'all through that, but I have another video for that. I'll link down below. So go ahead and subscribe if you can already. I hope you liked the video and we'll see you guys later. Peace.